Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today let's talk about delete action and specifically what to do if that record to be deleted contains some relationships restricting from deleting. So for example, while creating our Filament CRM for one of the courses on LaravelDaily.com, we have customers and lead sources for the CRM. So this customer comes from website. What if you want to delete that website as a lead source, which is a belongs to relationship, you delete, like with film and delete action, and you get this. On local, you will get a specific error that there is a foreign key constraint. On production server, your users would get 500 server error. There are a few ways how to prevent that. You can do that on Laravel level with exception reporting. You can do that on migration level, like cascading the delete or restricting the delete. But I will show you the filament way. How to check if there are related record and show the filament notification if there are any. So here's the filament code in the resource of that lead sources. And we have edit action and delete action, like you would do typically in any filament project. But also with any of those actions, you may provide action as a callback function with your custom logic. Like, for example, checking the relationships. And this is the actual code. So delete action make, then action, and then inside of that action function, you have these parameters by default with delete action, and record is actually what you need. So our record is the lead source, and then lead source has a has many relationship to customers, and then you check. If that count is bigger than zero, then you send a filament notification and you just return, which means delete action never actually happens. Otherwise, if that condition is not met, then you fire the success notification and delete. Or probably should be the other way around, I guess, just in case. Let's change those. And now let's see what happens. So if in our lead sources, I click delete, still confirmation by filament, which is fine. We click confirm and we have a notification that lead source is in use. But if I try to delete anything that doesn't have customers, any lead source, I confirm and then lead source deleted successfully. So this is just one example of a custom function. You can look at that more globally and you can read more about actions in filament and I will link that in the description below. But basically inside of action method, you can do whatever. And if you just return, then action doesn't happen. And again, if you want that filament CRM as a course, it is on Laravel daily, still ongoing. So we're still planning to publish five or 10 lessons more. And I will put a link to that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.